Before my time in the observatory, this was the place that I called home, and I still consider it home. This is the Upper Florentine Valley, a forest that will always have a special place in my heart. It's the site of Camp Florentine, Tasmania's longest running blockade, a place where I spent many years getting to know these ancient forests and these ecosystems. It's surrounded on three sides by the current Tasmanian Wilderness World Heritage Area, yet these tall trees and magnificent rainforest species have been threatened by logging. It was six years ago that Forestry Tasmania proposed plans to log 15 coops within this area. For six years, this amazing valley has been defended by grassroots and community activists who have stood on the front lines to stop the chainsaws and stop the logging equipment from getting into this valley. This week, the World Heritage Committee are meeting in Cambodia to make a decision about the listing of about 120,000 hectares of forest to be included in the Tasmanian World Heritage Area. That includes this area in the Upper Florentine Valley, as well as the area of the Tiana Valley close to here where the observatory is. It's been decades that community activists in Tasmania have been calling for an extension to the World Heritage Area to include these areas of tall eucalypt forest. The World Heritage Committee themselves said that the tall, wet eucalypt forests like this one were underrepresented in the current protected World Heritage Area and have been recommending to the Australian Government that an extension be made. With this pressure from the World Heritage Committee, an ongoing and increasing pressure from the international community to protect these ancient forests, we have finally had a nomination earlier this year from the Australian Government to protect these forests is a testament to the power of grassroots and community activism that this goal has been achieved. I think it's important to take a moment to celebrate what we've been able to accomplish and the protection of these World Heritage Value Forests is an amazing achievement for our community. However, we obviously need to keep fighting, we need to keep the campaigns going so that we continue to protect high conservation value for us across Tasmania, we can continue to put pressure on Tar An to cease the destruction of forests both in Tasmania and Sarawak and we can bring an end to the destruction of native forests here in Tasmania and around the world. Last World Heritage Banner that hopefully we're ever going to have to put up. World Heritage in waiting, mate. Right there. Upper Florentine. Mm -hmm.